Is Emily good for Kent? Emily is Genshin Impact's newest character to be introduced in the second phase of Genshin Impact's 4.8 update. She brings in a decent kit using her Luidos case that stays on field even after switching Emily out. So she's a sub DPS that you can leave off the field while still dealing damage when she isn't the active character and having loads of reactions too thanks to having her being a dendro character so what does that mean that the dendro character kenich is capable of synergizing well with emily well i try to answer that with this video and in order to do that we have to do some backtracking now if we do assume what kind of character kenich is now this video has zero leaks and will not be sharing any leaks whatsoever and i do only go based off of speculation alone you don't have to worry too much about that plus it keeps my channel safe from being term or terminated kenich is a new character from the new natlin region and as we only saw a little bit of natlin and their characters it's uh, just a little bit of a teaser as we all know from the 4.8 live stream now we've also seen you know some extra stuff about the natlin characters from youtube shorts or from twitter whichever one you've made your way to and we can now make some educated guesses on what exactly kinich's kit could possibly be so let's make a little bit of guess and say that he is a dps character um because of the quote-unquote hunter i think that's what if i read it correctly he's a hunter and he gets commissioned to do some things so i'm gonna assume he's a dps character and if he is a dps character in the game that will mean that he's going to spend some field time on being the active character and you're going to deal damage with him mostly that way so just from that does that mean that he's going to synergize well with Emily? Since Emily's going to be dishing out some pretty good damage by being a sub DPS. So, if we recall correctly, they're both pretty much Dendro characters, so they're not going to synergize like that. Sure, you're going to get some extra buffs in the team overall, but not necessarily with each other. Now, Emily is actually a pretty selfish character in which her damage amplification is pretty much only for herself. She improves her own damage from burning and her sub DPS damage is you know, improved that way and it's just that, sub DPS damage. Since they are both Dendro characters, doesn't mean that they will be great together, but if you have other characters, which you will have the other two characters, so whether it's Hydro or Electro, these characters both Emily and your, you know, main active character Kinich will be dishing out a lot of Dendro to help the reactions. So, it actually might be a pretty good combination to have these characters together and will be a pretty okay synergy. Especially if you have a character like the current in banner character Nilu, who's going to, you know, provide some blooms with, you know, easy access to Dendro thanks to uh, Emily dishing out damage will not be on field and while your active character is Kimmich and you're going to be dealing some dendro that way. We've already seen something like that with the likes of Kave or the likes of Elytham where you have a lot of dendro being out, you know applied thanks to their kids and it's just a really easy way to do a lot of bloom. And obviously you can have an electric character to do some hyper bloom too but if you're using a character like Nilu you want those blooms to actually pop off so hydro character um you, you only need a hydro character there let's be real okay let's let's be real <laughs> but if that was the case that's actually a pretty you know fun team to have but you want to use different characters and you'll have different synergies like maybe use a spread team or an aggravate team and i think the synergy would be pretty good you'll have a lot of application thanks to the dendro from both sides and it will be pretty incredible. This would lead to Emily actually having a better damage output thanks to, you know, doing some pretty crazy things alongside uh, a burning character. So if you have a pyro character, that'd be pretty cool. And they're all doing burning and it will lead to Emily actually doing more damage, which is pretty interesting. But let's say that if 
Kinnich is a support character. That just means that Emily would probably dish out more damage thanks to him being a support. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, or you could have whoever else is your you know active character. In any case, I think they would actually have pretty good synergy. Only and only if you know those requirements were met and that um, they don't sort of clash with each other. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, having two general characters on a team is usually standard, it's usually fine, nothing really too crazy about it. And yeah, since Emily does go off of burning, the only problem we're going to see a lot with them being together is that Emily is going to need a pyro character. And since that is a big factor into her kit, you might actually be struggling a little bit to see some actual, you know, big difference. Uh, you might be just struggling to make a team in general without using a pyro character because yeah emily just really needs a pyro character to get the most value out of her kit and i highly highly suggest that is what you do does that mean that kinich might need to get a different support probably um i would say that is probably going to be the case but if you're willing to ignore emily's desire and her entire kit for a pyro character uh, if you're really willing to ignore that, then yeah, sure, their synergy will be fine, and Neela will have a field day with that, or whoever other character you have, whether it's Fischl, whether it's Raiden Shogun, whoever, whoever it is, doesn't matter, they'll be good. Okay, but that's all if he is the DPS character. What if he's the type of character where he is also off of the field? Then we have a completely different playing field. Right? You'd have two characters that would be dealing some like off-field damage, and I feel like that would be pretty nice. Again, if you were using Emily, you need a pyro character. Be real here, that's what you need, that's where you get most of the value from her kit. So, if you don't want to play like that, if you don't want to play with Burning, just get rid of Emily, and Kinnich has to go off on his own. So, is Emily good for Kinnich? I'd say, yes, Emily is good for Kinnich if you're using a pyro character on the team. Is Emily good for Kinnich without a pyro character? I'd have to go ahead and say, not so much. You'll be missing out on a lot of value from Emily, and at that point, might as well use a different character. It's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are going to be doing, and that'll be it for me. See you guys next one. Goodbye.